spaghetti a la carbonara. Let's try this. It says to cook the pasta first. I'm gonna cook it after I cook the pancetta because I got fresh pasta. So first, I got two packs. Each one is about 100 grams. I'm gonna use one full one and then a half of the second one. Throw in a small knob of butter into a pan over medium heat. And then throw in your one full pancetta and throw in half the other. The little flip. Yeah, so cook this on medium heat for about eight minutes. Until golden crispy as you see here. Turn off the heat and transfer the pancetta over to a plate. Try one. Oh, f ah. Cover it up to keep warm. All right, now I'm gonna throw in my fresh pasta. There you go. If you can't get fresh pasta, just use regular pasta. You know, I know a guy. Add 500 grams or 18 ounces of spaghetti into a pot of boiling water, well salted. In the meantime, throw in one teaspoon of black peppercorn into this pan and crush it in. I'm gonna crush it in between a napkin and crush it up with a meat hammer. Or you could throw in the peppercorn into the pan and crush it all in there. Put it on low heat. And then just a couple of spoons of some water from the pasta. There we go. I'll just move it around and heat it up. I gotta look at this. That's a fancy little ladle. Yeah. Get yourself one of these. The peppercorn is really just to get the extra pieces of pancetta from the bottom if you had any. Let's see if the pasta is ready. Pasta is ready. You're gonna strain the pasta, but you're also gonna save a little bit of that water. Make sure to save a little bowl of that pasta water. Now, toss the pasta back into the cooking pan. Mix the spaghetti around with the peppercorn and keep it on low heat. All right, now in the meantime, get a large warm bowl. I put mine in the microwave for eh, about a minute. Ah, perfect. Ah, 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 ah. And pour in five egg yolks and one whole egg and three tablespoons of Parmesan. And mix in a little bit of that cooking water until eggs and cheese become creamy. If the pasta is a little dry in the pan here, then feel free to add a little bit of cooking water back into the pan. So, the eggs and the cheese are supposed to be creamy. This isn't really that creamy. I probably added a tablespoon too much of water. Now toss the spaghetti into the bowl with the eggs until it's like a creamy mixture. All right, let's see, hopefully I didn't fuck it up. Now mix it up. The heat of the pasta will cook the eggs without scrambling them. Keep mixing it until it's like a, like a silky, nice texture and mixture. Throw in the pancetta and mix it in with everything. Here we go, baby. That's it, that's what it's supposed to look like. Smells good, looks nice, and serves uh, six people. I'm only here by myself. All right, looks, looks like I'll have leftovers. So I'll put it all into a plate. Sprinkle some of that Parmesan on top and some extra pepper if you'd like. Dude, ah, kind of similar, huh? Look at that. Look at the picture, then look at this. That's money, I did that and I'm not that smart. I'll put down some notes at the end of this video on the bottom um, just you know to let you know what I could have done differently. This was my first time doing it. Uh, wasn't that bad, wasn't that hard. I'm gonna try this, see how it is. Actually, I'll try it right now. It's pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Spaghetti a la carbonara. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.